All right, what's up, guys? So it looks like uh, either friends or family, whoever, have um, uploaded the trailer to XXX Tentacion's uh, documentary, Look at Me. And yeah, you best believe I'm going to go definitely watch this documentary because I have been waiting ever since they announced it. Like, what was it? Like two, three years ago? I'm like, fam, I've been waiting for this. And so, no, it was like, I think it was like about three years ago it was definitely before the pandemic when they uploaded um that first trailer so yeah let's go ahead and check this one out see what it's gonna be about and well honestly you know we already know it's gonna be about and stuff but i you know i feel like for uh like people that became a fan of him like after you know look at me had blew up like, I feel like it probably would, like, if you, if we hadn't went out of our way, well, I just feel like overall the documentary is going to be, you know, better than, like, any other, like, documentary that was uploaded about X. So, um, yeah, they, this is the official, like, you know, his friends and family is behind this one. So, yeah, let's go ahead, check it out, see what it's going to be about. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the official XXX on YouTube channel. And then that being said, you about to have the biggest soul in the country. Now is about your family, about your career, about you accomplishing everything you ever wanted. The rapper XXX Tentacion, artist whose real name is Jose Onfroy, has been shot. He was a kid. He was excited. That was a was tough time. I knew people wouldn't forget him. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. There's definitely a difference between Jose Onfroy and XXX Tentacion. Jose Onfroy was weak. Nobody cared about Jose Onfroy until he took on the persona as XXX. You know how you got that little voice in your head and it'd be like, yo, don't do that. I don't think he had that. <laughs> I remember him telling me, I'm making music for the broken people, for the people that feel how I feel. Look at me. He was an incredible talent. He should not be anyone's idol. People didn't want to be around him. That was his biggest battle himself. My son would not sleep at night. He would tell me he hears voices. They mm. told me that he was bipolar. Darkness self. He was getting more famous by the day. The thing about his fame started with this horrific alleged crime. It was kind of like a fairy tale, but a really grim one. There was a lot of jealousy. I could hear them fighting. Somebody was getting hit. Justin was like, no, mom, it's not true. And a part of me took that and run with it. We was born into a world that taught us that men have to fight. But your weapon can be the same thing that kills you. There's some issues where people just need to be put away. But there's some issues where people need help, especially kids. He did not want that image to follow him around for the rest of his life. Dang. Oh, that's nice. That's dope. I apologize. I haven't been getting the help I really want. I think he was changing, but he hurt others and himself. He realized he had an obligation that was bigger than himself. To do what he's done in two years, whether you loved it or whether you hated it, you just had to acknowledge it. Dang, man, that's this week. Like, it's literally in two days. Like, it's just... You know, like, I remember just, like, I, it, it's crazy how, like, I still remember when I very first heard of X, like, all the way up until, you know, the tragic day of his passing. Like, it, it's something, you know, you just don't forget that time, especially when it's an artist that you are listening to every single day. Like, if I could just sit here and just talk about X, like, I know a lot of people uh, is, you know, like, hating this man. I'm not saying, like, you know, like... The things that he's done, like, it's, you know, stuff that you got to approve of. Like, you know, it's it's never that never will be the case, you know, because I know like I try like I know people that have like had literally the same life as him. Like, you know, so it's it's tough to see people go through that. But it's it's honestly it's a beautiful thing to see them, you know, progressing and uh getting better in life so that that is one thing i have to say about that like you know then with the music i was like fam you know like it, it was just any time when you anytime when i seen that he was dropping music i was like i'm i'm listening to it i don't care 
And then it was like, to, I seen like people post and say like, you know, that a lot more of his like the better songs is on SoundCloud. Like Spotify is only giving us a preview. Like SoundCloud got like a whole arsenal of his music. So it's like, I, I remember going on there, listening to a lot of his music. And then, uh, yeah, then the day, you know, he passed away. It was just, that's a day I'll never forget. Like that's, that's something where it's like, it happened back in 2018. So like four years ago. Yeah, it was like that. It, it's a it's a day I still remember, and you know it's like it. You think like you would think like wait like any other like you know there's because I, I I mean I'm just not saying like I got like the like biggest and most fascinating life so like something like that it sticks out and I'm like fam like it, it's you know it's just wild it to me it's just wild you know that day and it's just the fact that I still I still remember it that day. You know, I still remember kind of like not being able. I remember going into work the next day and not really being able to sleep. Like I, when I say I was like, I was a fan of this guy. Like I was a fan. Like I was hurt. Like this is like this was somebody I never met. I never went to any any of his shows. Like I, you know, all I just was able to do is just sit down and hear what he had to say in his like in his art, and you know, relate to it in a way. And so that's why it's like, you know, when he did pass, like, it felt like I lost a friend. It felt like I lost a family member. And still to, you know, like, I had to say, like, I'm better now uh, about it. Because, I mean, you, you know, the guys that were behind it, they all got caught. So I'm like, that's good. Hopefully they get life in prison and stuff. But, um, you know, like, yeah, it, it was just it was just tough, you know, to, to see that whole situation go down. Because it's like, dang. Like, he was younger than me, and so, like, I was like, fam, some, you know, you you hear that, you process that, and it's like, this, you know, he had his whole life ahead of him. So, that's why it's like, yeah, it's, it's just, it's tough to, you know, just to see that in things, but, yeah, I can't wait for this documentary to come out. Like, I've been waiting for it for a while now, because I think they announced it in 2019, so, yeah, I was like, I've been waiting for this for a while, so, anyways, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to the XXXTentacion channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.